All right, we'll start with Cassidy back to that. Trey, I think you've been all over the secondary since you've been here. Where do you feel most comfortable at now heading into this year? Where do you think you'd be most effective? Uh, I'm going to play uh, any position in secondary. So whatever uh, our uh, teammate needs help, this I'm going to play. Where have you been practicing the most? I play everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, everybody, I mean, you always look in good shape, but everyone looks like they're in really terrific shape that's come in here today. What's the off season been like? What's the energy and the focus been like? You know, uh, same goal as a different year. You know what I'm saying? You know, first of all, you know, when he gets to Atlanta, when he gets to the championship and then the best system. So, you know, we have been grinding, you know, listen to our coaches, do everything, Coach Savage tell you, I think Coach Savage is second to none in the country. So I think, um, He's trying to sell by the best coach and the best trainer, people the best team. How much did the missing spring, not being able to develop depth, not being able to just develop in general as players, coming back, not sure when you could start, postponing, all that kind of uncertainty, how much did that just really hurt the defense? Because I was asking Jeremiah, I mean, you guys were a top 10 unit two years ago, and last year you were like 80 something. Well, you know, last year's in the past, so you know, we're looking forward to different things that we're going to do this year. So, we really look to the past, you know, we can post with the goal ahead of us, you know, to be the best we can contention. But do you expect, like, having spring, is it going to make a big difference? Well, you know, you know, just come together and buy in what Coach Mother tells us to do, you know, um, then just do the little things right and handle yourself. Thomas, right here. Yeah, Trey, uh, Coach Mullen said that the Cotton Bowl is kind of almost like the first look at 2021 for you guys. What did you guys learn from that game, and, and what did it do for, I guess, your mentality, your mindset going into the offseason? I know. Well, you know, bowl games, you know, you got to go out there, you know, you got to play to your best ability, you know. But like I said, um, that's last year, so, you know, we're going to take four steps, focus on everybody on our schedule that's on the schedule this year, you know, take one step at a time, game by game. Let's go to Graham Hall right here. Just want to ask about a couple guys in the secondary. What have you seen out of Jaden Dell now going into this game? Uh, you know, our whole secondary as a whole, you know, we're a great unit. You know, um, ain't no doubt in my mind that we can be the best secondary in the country. You know, especially with a lot of um, people getting added to it, we just going to be, be able to create that and become stronger. What about Kamar? I mean, he got here when he was 17, and now it's looking like he can play some of the safety position as well. What have you seen out of him? Well, you know, when you got great coaches surrounded by uh, great coaches, they're going to put you in the best position to make plays no matter what position you have. So you just buy in with the coaches and then trust Coach Savage, Coach Mullen, the rest of the players yourself. Go to Nick Elatori. Um, two other younger guys, Mordecai and, and Trevez. Um, how much did they grow last year, and kind of where do you see them fitting in this year? I mean, yeah, I think uh, all our DBs will get a chance to play this year. You know, I think we're great defense back the unit. You know, I think um, iron sharp iron. You know, so if I know I got a, a great backup behind me, just gonna push us all as a team to get better. You know, I think um, DB coach is coming back. I think we're gonna be um, one of the top units in the country. Yeah. And then all the offense guys kind of describe Emory as a. a mobile pocket passer. What's it like going up against him? And uh, is he more inclined to throw than maybe some of us think? Well, if y'all think Emory Jones is not going to throw the ball, that's a mistake. Um, I say um, he has the ability to use his legs. I think his legs, you know, in addition to his arm, his arm uh, could be very good. So I think uh, people not think that that we've got to this, this shit coming up. Trey, obviously you missed out on the offseason last year and a chance to work in the spring. How much did that help you this this year? And obviously you got a little bit of taste of safety last season. Well, you know, um, you know, just going in, like I said, you know, bringing my uh, DBs together, you know, try to be a stronger unit, you know, and lean on each other, you know, to eliminate as many mistakes as we can. You know, just coming to offseason, you know, create a brotherhood, you know what I'm saying, to get closer. That was the offseason about, you know, you go through your time, trial and tribulation, you know, what, you know, working out, working real hard, but it's a create a, a strong bond. And a lot of uh, players from the previous staff have, have moved on, graduated, played in the NFL. Pretty much almost everybody on your side of the ball was recruited by Todd Grantham. How much will that potentially help this year, just that these are guys that he felt like fit his system? So that's a lot. You know, um, Todd Grantham, I, don't think, uh, I think he's the best defensive coordinator in the country. You know, um, you know, it's going out, you know, just whatever he calls, we might go out there and play. You know, he got a great scheme. And you know, um, he put his players in a position to make plays. He's got to execute. All right. Thank you. Thanks.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.